What are we doing now, babe? So what? now we're going to take out this sucky couch and put in a hopefully non-sucky couch. This couch comes from Host, and after a year of ownership and being on the road, it just does not hold up well. It still looks okay because we put blankets on here for the dog and everything, but it sags really bad in the middle. The arms are coming off, as you can see, and it's just really poor construction. If you were to order this like we did, I would highly recommend that when you place your order with Host, which is an excellent product, bypass the furniture and select and put in your own furniture. So we're going to take this out and we're going to put in a 64 inch Charles from Rec Pro and it's going to be um, it's 110 volts so it's mechanically or motor operated and it also has USB ports and everything. So when we get that pulled out we're going to have to run wire and everything for a 110 out volt outlet. So that's another thing when you get this order from host order extra outlets because there's no outlets back here at all none so i would highly recommend you get an outlet put on the left and the right side at the bottom so if you wanted to run anything a computer charging anything etc you have the power to do that we're going to start removing the hardware that holds the couch to the floor on the left side there's a bolt in the front and a bolt in the back. So now I'm going to remove the, the lag bolts. That's what it looks like. I'm using a 90 degree degree on my drill with a 3 8 head. We had to raise the foot rest to get to the lag bolts that are in the middle. Okay, we were able to easily pull out the center section. It's not even bolted down. So I got the, the chair put on, on its side, and if you look down here, we got staples. And I'm gonna pull this out so we can get this loose from here. This is the back of the of the chair, so we can pull the uh, the, the back of the chair off. So this is the couch back coming off. You just pull these tabs out right here. Pull that out on both sides. And that releases it from here. Sorry about the sun. And you just lift it straight up. Okay, babe, take it out. Well, it's gotta go out sideways like this. Let's go down the steps, ready to go hand it to you. Go as far as this way as you can. Okay. It's not heavy. Hold on. So now we're taking out the right side lag bolts. So I highly, highly recommend that you get this and do the, take out the lags, lag bolts instead of using a, a, a ratchet. Um, this was so much easier and quicker. Right here on the side. Right there. And another one right there. Now we're taking the staples off the back of the other side.
I think they're just screwed in there. Huh, I thought it was supposed to have a back plate. I did too. So now we're taking off the Lagoon mounting plate so we can try to use this on the new couch. And I think it's just screwed in because I opened it up and looked inside and I didn't see any bolts on the other side. And it is, it's just screwed in. So with the moral of the story on this, I wouldn't put a lot of weight if you have this set up <laughs> on, on, on your original host couch because this is supposed to be bolted with a nut on each side so it holds the weight instead of just these self-tapping screws. And I'm very excited about getting rid of these cup holders that are so tiny hardly anything fits. So that was super easy. So now we got to take take out the footrest because we're not going to be able to use this for the new couch. And I'll be honest with you, we really never used it to start off with. But we're tall people. Wow, that's not even in there. That's held in with really tiny screws that you don't even need <laughs> to unscrew. So let's try it on the side. And they're like that. I'm going to be honest with you, not too impressed with what I found under here towards construction. So we're going to have to save the front of this carpet and wood to put in here to cover that hole up. What are you thinking, hon? Well, we're going to leave the rollers on there to help with it sliding in. I don't really think it's going to do a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. But while I have this off, I ran out on the other side, but we put this rubber on here to help with the ventilation of the air coming in from the side outs and also bugs. We got this idea from the Jocelyn Journey. So I highly recommend you check out their page on how they installed it. But uh, I actually have more coming in from Amazon today that I ran out doing the, the left slide out. And if you have a Yukon, you're going to need about three 12 foot rolls. I'm sorry, three 10 foot rolls to be able to do the job completely. So what my plan is, is we're going to save this carpet from here. I'm going to unglue it basically from here and go straight across and straight across here and discard this top board, these side boards, but save the carpet. And I, my plan is that I will eventually trim the carpet to about this length. So when I roll it on this board, we'll have the carpet over here on this side and it should have made up really nice to this. And why are we doing that? Because this adds an extra layer height wise to here and we don't need it. And because the new couch is actually longer and wider than the old couch so the new couch is going to actually extend all the way out to here instead of back here where the new where the old couch was
now that we have the board off, we cut the carpet, which is here, to length, because I can roll it like this. This is eventually going to go in here. And um, so now we got that cut to a size. We, you can go a little shorter if you want, but it doesn't matter. But we cut it to here. And then, uh, and then I just got to trim this up, put it like I want it, and then that's going to be done. So are those rollers, are they going to have to move up? Yes, we didn't think about that, or I didn't think about that. We'll have to move it, move this up the width of what the original board was in order for this to sit flush to here. And even Donna's getting into the act. Kiki's the supervisor. We got the boards all off, got the carpet where we wanted. We had to move the rollers up about an inch and a half uh, because this was taller, of course, because it sat up higher. And then I've got the carpet rolled like I wanted, but I'm not tacking it down until I get my Amazon package in today, which is my extra rubber that I'm putting on here, which is going to keep the wind out. So once I get that in and installed, then I can finish tacking this down here's the finished product and I'm going to secure it to this like the other ones are with the wood screws. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to mark where I put them so if I ever need to take it out I know where it is. Also I can't really install this yet until I figure out what I'm going to do with the power. There's a 12 volt power down here and I'm thinking about putting a small power inverter on here and using that as our electricity for 110 so it's putting a small power inverter on here for one from 112 to 110 so we don't have to turn on our power inverter up here to run everything so just kind of some different ideas i'm kicking around and so that's why this is not fully secured until after we run our power so that's the end result and what I did is I added the rubber seal all the way around this edge and this edge. And I took care of that while I had it out. And we decided to run the power for the couch, splicing it into this 12 volt wire. And I'm gonna put a um, 14 gauge cigarette lighter adapter on there with the fuse and run it to a 300 watt um, inverter and we're going to mount the inverter right here so we don't have to turn on the big power inverter we're going to mount it's only about this big it's going to mount right here and just turn it on and off as we need to use it for powering the couch instead of running 110 volt and using up lots of power for our batteries so that's what the end the result that came out it came out really good and that's the screws that we used in order to tack down the rubber and the carpet. I put this rubber all the way around on all the slide outs on the left side and rear. And I got that idea from the Jocelyn Journey in their, in their post. The couch is here. Yay! We packed it pretty good. It's like the power cords. This is going to be the right side. Super easy. All we, this is really, really light. Got two tracks on each side. And if you come over here, baby, you're gonna line them up with these tracks here. And they'll, they'll, they'll snap in once you put them in. And when you get the back put on, this has Velcro for the skirt. When it goes down, you just Velcro it back onto the tabs already there. Like I said, this is the lightest part right here. here and just velcro it in this goes down to the bottom like that so you, you got these two right here and it slides in right here just 
just like that. And then this locks it in on the other side. Let me get them together. We'll do that last, that nut right there. See these right here those go right here okay when you when you open up your your stuff you're going to get two boxes with two controllers but you only need one but with the double controllers you get a power cord and another single wire what we're going to do is it also comes with a Y connector so what you do is you connect these to the couch and this part here gets connected to this. So one controller will operate both couches. And that's, the, of course, the 110 outlet. So our plan is, is we're going to plug into the 12 volt underneath the couch, run a cigarette light, lighter adapter over to here, and we're gonna plug in a 300 watt power inverter that we can turn on and off to operate the couches. So we don't have to turn on our power inverter, our main power inverter here, which uses a way a lot more electricity. So we had to position it just right in our slide to not be hitting the metal against the couch, but we wanted to have it as far out as possible so that we could get the footrest down. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a metal trim piece right here, and it's not hitting the couch anywhere on both sides. We positioned it further to the left. We have to take the back off of each side and raise the foot to be able to see where the screws go into the holes to secure the back of the frame to the floor. And now we're ready to secure the screws to the floor in the back. There you go, you can see the holes. So the wood is typical light duty wood, so don't strip out your, your holes. This is the finished product of the installation. As you can see here on the right, we have room for the vacuum and we can fit our dog food bag there and our rug. And then over here, I know it's close, but it worked out best for putting the slide in and being able to have the couch far enough away from the back wall to recline it as much as possible. We positioned the inverter towards the back of the wall so that it was out of the way and not real visible, but you can still get to the on off switch to turn it off when we're not using it. And then right on the side of the couch is just enough room to be able to slide the two pieces that cover the sink when you're not using it. Okay, so right now we're going to talk about the lagoon table and that we had installed in here. So if you have a host Yukon, you have the option of getting this mount on your old, or I guess our old, couch. So we bought this extra arm in uh, Lagoon and you got to buy it from Lagoon. You can't buy the Chinese knockoff. It won't fit. And we bought bamboo cutting boards and we put one on here and we took our other one off here and we put that one on there. So anyways, I'm going to tell you how to do this. When you take the old bracket off of your old couch and you put it on here, the inside here is like a real thin or I guess a thick cardboard and it has wood braces in it so the way that I had to do it I just had to use these toggle bolts which are basically those so you're gonna drill whoop, put that in there you're gonna you're gonna drill your holes through put the screw in 
and I was trying to figure out how am I going to get this so I can put my hand on it so I can tighten it down so it'll hold. Well, it's real easy. These cup holders come out. You can pull this cup holder out and you get access to the inside here. When you put your hand in there, you'll feel the wood frames. And all you do is just, you know, don't go crazy, but just tighten them down. The way that we placed this is you'll see that it's not centered. We did that because of the, the locking mechanism here it has to have enough room to clear the footrest. So that's why that's like that. Another good tip for these things if you decide to go this route is that we learned the hard way. When you travel, you can't have these just swinging. So even if you put it down inside the couch area, it's still going to move. So definitely use the locking mechanisms here and under here to lock the table into place so it doesn't move while traveling. If you do the tips that I told you on how to install this, you'll save a couple of hours worth of trying to figure it out. And this would go installed in like 10 minutes. But with me trying to over-engineer it, this is the way that I came up with and it worked out really well. So we love it. We don't really eat on this table or anything, but you know, computer, cell phones, so a big, 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 big advantage of this couch setup is it comes with regular size cup holders. You can get rid of this piece of crap that, that you have to use for the old, old set. That goes away. You actually have cup holders. You actually have a, an insert to make it smaller so you can use smaller cups in there. Really, really like this, this setup. We got this from RecPro. It's a 64 inch Charles recliner. I, you, it's gonna be night and day compared to what it was. If you are looking at this video and are going to build out a host, don't buy the couch it comes with. Get it plain, put your own couch in. Listen to what I'm telling you. Also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. We can really use the support from you guys. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. We're not right. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs>